Our next unit is on short stories. We are starting with plot and conflict and the way that authors build suspense. How many people in here have already seen something like this? Already seen a plot and conflict chart? Raise your hand. Okay. You should be somewhat familiar with how these work. We're going to go through it together so we're all on the same page before we move forward with this unit. Everyone should have the plot and conflict diagram in front of them and we're going to go over what each of the elements that develop plot are and then you're going to practice that using a video that I will play. And you're going to fill in the plot and conflict chart based on the video. So to make sure we're all on the same page, taking a look at the plot and conflict chart, we're going to go over each of these elements. The first element asks us about the exposition. Who can tell me what an exposition is or what the exposition does? Cole? It's like the beginning. It's the beginning. Fantastic. Oh. What components are in the beginning? What components build that beginning? The introduction. The introduction, sure, there's certain Thanks. things that have to be in there. Fantastic, thank you, Thomas. Okay, well that's in like a research paper, right? Oh, so yeah. the settings are first one. What is a setting, right? It might not be a term we all know, what is the setting, Dan? It's like the certain area or landscape you're basing the story off of. Well, you're basing the story off of. Good, it's the landscape or the place that you're basing it off of. It's also the time frame, it could also be the time frame that you're basing the story off of second element that goes into our exposition, second thing we're aware of. Joe? Characters. Characters, fantastic. Are characters always people? No. No, sometimes they're ideas, sometimes they're animals, but the characters are the figures that are involved. <coughs> third element, third element. Third thing that's happening in the exposition. Lewis? Conflict. The conflict. What is a conflict? Great. Oh it's the problem. It's what's the issue here? What's the trouble? Okay. Second part, and they repeat, are rising action. I have two listed here. There may be many points of rising action in the story. So when I say rising action, what do I mean? What is rising action? Frank? Good. There are things that build to get to the conflict. They're the next steps. Anyone else here on rising action? Is there any other way that we can define that? Cole? Like they build up to the climax. Isn't there a whole bunch of other stuff that... They build up to the climax. These are the main points that I want to make sure we're all on the same page with. Sure. Rising actions are small moments of suspense. They're little questions that have a quick resolution to them. Our rising action is a moment of suspense that makes us want to keep reading the story and they ultimately build up to what we said is the... Climax. So what's a climax? The turning point. Thank you, Eddie. The turning point. It's the major change. It is the moment of the most suspense. It's the moment where you wonder what will happen next. The climax is a question. The climax makes you wonder, how will this turn out? It's your turning point. I see those eyebrows. So if the climax <laughs> is a question, what is the falling action? What is falling action? If climax is a question, what is falling action? Casey. Falling action is the answer. It's the answer to the question. So if the climax is a question, falling action is the answer to the question, and we are left with resolution. What is the resolution? Go ahead and give it a shot, Cole. Uh, like, like the conclusion? It's the conclusion. Good. Any other ways to describe resolution? Eddie? Like everything coming to an end. Everything coming to an end. Great. Right? Conclusion. conclusion, like what Cole said. Good. Answer to the problem. Answer to the problem, to the overall problem. And it ties up any loose ends. It ties up anything that's left to know. Okay? We are going to be filling out this plot and conflict chart based on a film I'm going to be showing now. Please make sure you're quiet during the film. Filling it out as you go. There is no dialogue in this film. You will still be able to identify all of the components. I'm confident in it. Casey? What are we answering? You're going to fill out the plot and conflict chart based on the film I'm about to show. What if I ignore the end of the video? You haven't seen the film. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Casey, do you mind getting the lights for me? Thank you very much. Okay.